Reuben Foster, uh, mm -hmm. the Alabama linebacker. Uh, he disclosed to Ian Rappaport at NFL Media that he had a diluted urine sample at the combine, which of course in the NFL means that you have a positive test. Now between this positive test, um, there's been some speculation he might need a, a, another surgery on his shoulder, on the torn rotator cuff. Uh, again, uh, he was the mm -hmm. one what dismissed from the combine because of the verbal altercation mm -hmm. he got into with the, with the uh, hospital worker. How does all of this now impact his draft stock? He's the toughest one, I think, honestly, because he is one of the three or four best football players in this draft, and his football character is outstanding. Mm. He shows up every day. He's an alpha dog, for the, which is what you want at a linebacker. He's going to practice hard, holds himself accountable. He's there when you ask him to be there. He, there's a crowd around him that people are concerned about, scouts that would put in all the private investigation time, and they're worried, as we've said many times, more money, more fame, and more free time. When you get that combination, mm -hmm. how do people respond? And there's, and this test is really a, we call it the, the double D test, the, the dumb or dependent test. It's not really about, I mean, there's been studies out there, 70, 80% of the league smoking marijuana. Now, now for what it's worth, just yes. to, in fairness, he said that he was sick right. and that he needed to hydrate and that was his explanation for why and that will, came back. And teams will find out. And maybe if that's the case, then this, this becomes a non-issue. If, it, if it's not the case, then, then teams will look at it as they do in all these situations. You are either de dependent, and that's an issue, yeah. or you're just not smart enough to realize that you got to kick it a few weeks before to right. make sure your system You can clear. smoke, just don't fail tests. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's and it. so for, with, just to answer your question, I think he's a top 10. I told you, he's, I think he's one of the five best players. Now, though, with all these questions, I could see him falling out of the top 10, but I don't think he's going to tumble into the 20s or out of the first round. The 2017 NFL Draft, April 27th through the 29th on ESPN.